Hey gents, today we're taking a look at my latest delivery from Mott and Bo. Every guy needs a great pair of dark fitted jeans that you can wear with anything. You can wear it to the office, you can wear it out in a casual night. And so Mott and Bo makes great jeans. Now you won't find the words raw or salvage much on their website. They claim to have a very good denim science process, which includes curing and washing the denim in a certain way. And all of their denim is very reasonably priced. We'll jump in and take a look here. I have opened up Mott & Bow. I opened up their stretch denim, which I really liked, but this today is gonna be one of my dark pairs for them. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to learn about the best menswear on the internet. I've been diving into denim, I've been diving into dress shirts, and you guys have been recommending great companies. This one came from a recommendation several months ago, and so you've been recommending great companies in videos that I focus on. And if you want to pick up anything from Mott & Bow, I have a code below that'll get you a discount. I can't remember what the discount is, but that also supports the channel, lets me know these videos are helpful. The last thing, uh, make sure you give a thumbs up for great menswear videos and sign up for my giveaway up here. I partnered with On You to give away $700 worth of shirts. We're going to have four winners, one grand prize of this great jacket. If you've watched my other videos in November, I've been promoting it all month. It's a huge thank you to my subscribers. And now let's take a look. This is the slim bleaker, medium dark blue. So this, like I said, this isn't a raw, this isn't a selvage, this is a unique process to Mott & Bow. One of the things that you always get with raw jeans is the resin will kind of wear off over time. The fact that these are cured and washed in a certain way should prevent that. I'm always worried about my car. I have olive tanned leather in my car. I'm always worried about turning it blue. And a big thing with Mott & Bow is it's tough to buy pants online, obviously. You can kind of guess your size and try to get the right one. But when you order from Mott & Bow and they have your size, you can also do a try-on size where they'll send you a second pair of pants in the same ones you ordered, so the same wash, the same cut, but they'll send you a different waist or length size and then you can send back the one that doesn't fit for you. So they didn't have that option on these pants, I guess because the inventory was too low, but I already own a pair of Mott & Bow pants and I know what my size is. So this is also going to be a test in fit consistency. And uh, let's try them on and see how they look and feel. These are the 3134 Slim, which is my typical size, and they fit perfectly in the waist, and they go right down to my ankle. Not too far, not too short, and so these are a great fit for me. They feel a little snug right now. These are the slim, not the skinny. I try to have something that I can wear to the office and to any other type of meeting without looking like too much of a hipster. But I think I give that off whether my pants are a little bit skin tight or just a little bit loose just because I don't have big frumpy jeans like most other guys. But that's a whole different video. These look a little bit darker than in the video. I have plenty of very nice dark jeans and I'm trying to expand my collection on this, but I do like the color. They're not quite as dark and deep as some of my others. It has more of a blue shade to it, so they're more of a casual. And the big thing I like about these, and they're not quite as stretchy as the Wooster that I reviewed a few months ago, is that these are 98% cotton, 2% spandex, and they do have some nice stretch to them. I have a few pairs of salvage and raw denim that you can barely move in until they really break in but right out of the box, these feel really good. The big question you want to know with denim though is, is it high quality and does it last long? If you're spending $100 on jeans, these were 96, they have some that go to 128. Those are still really reasonable prices when you compare those to the types of pants you're getting at Nordstrom, which would be 150 to 200 because you do have that retail markup. These are 13 ounce denim and just out of the box, they feel really good. The pair that I've been wearing for the last seven or eight months has held up very well over time. With confidence, I typically recommend Mott & Bow along with some of these other newer companies like DSTLD and Gustin, and you can see my videos that I've done on them as well. If you're not too strict on trying to find the best raw or the best salvage denim, Mott & Bow is a really good option for you to take a look at. They have reasonable prices and good quality stuff. I'll be sure to check in with you to let you know how these are wearing through as I go and if they turn any of my stuff blue, which I hope not, but because of their denim science, that might not be the case. If you have any questions about Mott & Bow, you can comment below or reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. If you do want to pick up anything from them, you can get a discount using my code below and I appreciate you supporting the channel. Make sure you subscribe to learn about the best men's who are on the internet. Make sure you sign up for that giveaway. Thank you to all my subscribers. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Haters always wonder why Gambino got the game lock, half tie thicky. All she wanna do is Bangkok, got her hair dumps, friend sprays, now she ASAP. Bino's so insensitive, she asking why you say that? I'm chilling.